Welcome to my long-awaited answer video! By long-awaited, I mean like four or five people kept commenting for it, so this video is for you. I know the camera quality is absolutely trash, but I tried filming on my Canon, which I paid $600 for two years ago that I never used. But the battery ran out because I suck at charging things, and the sun is about to set in about like 15 minutes, so I have to record this really fast. And if the sun sets, then I won't have any lighting to shoot with, and then I'll have to shoot in the dark, which is fine too, but then the quality will be even jankier. So I'm just filming with my phone. Good thing about starting YouTube is that if my production is trash, no, nobody really cares, so. Every time I upload a design video, people are like, Jamie, how does your island look like that? It looks nothing like mine. Jamie's island makes my island look like a poop jar. Before you say any of those, I literally know life this game. I'm pretty sure I would skip meals and not sleep just to decorate my in-game cafe. I also have like 200 hours or something. I have 320 hours, okay, that's... So if you haven't yet, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the bell for notifications for whenever I upload. Remember to like and comment if you like this video. So this is my little house area. I put down these alternating dirt and brick path. And then I also put a little workbench here so that I could go into my house and then come back out and build stuff. So yeah, this is my simple house layout. You come here to my little hybrid. What the? What the? What? No! What is this? There's a rock in the middle of my breeding farm. Eh, maybe I'll just keep it. All right, so then you go down here. My house is covered in water and gold roses because I can't be rich in real life. I want to be rich in game. I have a waterfall here that serves no purpose. So you walk down here and there's a bunch of flowers. Here's my boring orchard. I'm just going to go through it once. It's super, super, super whatever. And then, yeah. So I have this cute little... Wait, another rock! Grow here? What? No! Ah! Wait, what is that? Is that a weed? <sighs> okay. Alright, let's just ignore this part because I'm not done with this part yet. Let's cross the bridge! Woo! I have really long bridges. I know it looks good, but it's really hard to fish. Alright, little loach. Come to me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Shit. Okay, let's go this way. So you go down this way to my humble residence services. There's a cute girl named Isabel that works there. And here I have all my shopping stuff. So I have my Nook's Cranny here, as well as my Abel sisters here. In the back here, I have money trees. And I haven't had anyone come over to steal stuff yet. <laughs> So now we're gonna go down here. Here I have a little farmer's market. This is probably one of my favorite places on my island that I- Oh my god! Okay, I clearly did not clean up for this island tour. I am so sorry guys. Ooh, fossil. You guys might have seen this in my island design video, but if not, I just wanted to make like a cute little farmer's market with like cute little tables. It's so cute! Anyways, you come up here and there's a cute vending machine, there's a cute picnic set, and... Oh, fudge. Let's go to this little campfire set that I have. I have another picnic here. As you can see, I clearly love picnics. My airport is right here. So when you come out of the airport, this is what you first see. Wow. I'm gonna be so honest. I love the look of natural paths, but I put these down so early before I even got hair forming, and I'm just way too freaking lazy to change it so yeah here's my uh hole of recipes that i don't really need this is the reason why i can't keep my five star rating <laughs> but it's because every time people come over i get so happy when they find a recipe that they don't have oh god oh my god i'm so sorry i don't hope i don't want my guests to see this oh i'm so ooh, a fossil okay so now we're entering this little cafe that i just made it's still under construction it's not ready guys so don't look we're just gonna skip through this and then you walk into here into a library so this library isn't done yet either but i have this piano here uh i played the piano actually for like eight years when i was little now i can't play jack shit so yeah so i put my museum right here so that it kind of matches i don't know i think it looks kind of good here's my cute little library <coughs> anyways we'll come this way back all the way here uh here is sky fishing <laughs> there's a stairs there's a stairs to go up that way but i want to go the other way zoom 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 okay 
So you walk up here and this is the floor where all of my villagers live. I call it the villa floor. I, I never called it that, I just literally made it up. You walk down here and this is Scala's house. I put down a little picnic basket, picnic blanket, some vending machines for her. Oh hey Sahara, looking good. <gasps> Uh, I may have made Rold call me cutie because, I don't know, it makes me feel good. I've been trying to catch a butterfly fish, but I haven't been able to yet. You're my rival, so I hate to ask, but would you catch a butterfly fish for me? Hell nah! I will, I will. I love him so much. <laughs> oh my god, you don't have to call me a cutie. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> All right, so let's keep on going down. I put down this river and fencing. Uh, I wanted to put down like clothesline poles and this janky fan to give it like a homey look. This is Sky's house. I love Sky. That sucker trying to catch a bug and failing as usual. Next to Sky's house, I put this cute little brick thingamajig and then this small little tea kind of set thingy. I don't know, I thought it was cute. So let's keep on walking down. So there's actually a break here. It's like a little plaza break. I just put down flowers. And I actually love this part of my island. It's like a fountain and there's flowers around it and then benches and stuff, so... Yeah, uh, this is when I started to get a little bit more creative with terraforming. Boop! Alright, so let's keep on walking. I put another tea set here. And uh, here's a little ice cream shop, so no one works here. I put a little apron, so it looks like someone's working there, but uh, it's, it's nobody. It's a headless... Headless waitress. Okay, so let's go this way. This is Philbert's house, and then this is Zucker's house. So I made his house all bamboo esque. I put down this outdoor bath for him, but he never uses it. And then I thought about him using it, and since he's a takoyaki, he would just drown. So, and then I have another bridge crossing to the other side of my villager houses. This is Marshall's house. I didn't really put much. Then you go this way. This is Sherb's house. I put an ice cream cone down because, you know, he's a Sherb, like a Sherber. Oh, this is Peanut's house. I put some extra love in it. I put azaleas down because I absolutely adore peanut. Also, if you guys are wondering, this path right here, these pretty little grass things, actually comes with the game. It's called the Three Leaf Clover and it's a transparent design code. So it looks really pretty when you want your grass to look natural but still have like some twinkle. Going down here, I am. Oh, hey, Marsha, looking good. So this is Renee's house. I didn't put much. And this is Bella's house. I put down a nice bath for her and a book even though I don't think she reads. But yeah, this is uh, something that I probably won't change for a while just because I like how homey it is. And I haven't had a villager move out in so freaking long because I have attachment issues. I remember I hated Renee and then she asked me to leave and I said no because I, I just couldn't let go of her. <laughs> okay, so you come up here. Oh, if anyone wants to see my map, this is what it looks like. So everything somewhat connects. Yeah, this is my island map. Feel free to copy it. I just wouldn't go with the long rivers because it's hard to fish. So you come up here and I have a little shopping center, which you guys may have seen in my island design video. No one can really shop here, so it's purely here for looks, but whatever. It's window shopping. Here I have a cool guy section, or it's not even a guy section because I can wear all of these clothes, but I guess it's like a cool edgy section and then a, a girly section. <laughs> I feel like some days I dress like this and then all the other days I dress like this. I've been wearing black this whole quarantine because my roots have grown out, so it's the only thing that doesn't clash with my hair. And it's been great. I can see why people wear black all the time. And it hides my quarantine 15. So, yeah. Come down here, I put down a bunch of flowers, and this is my starry island deck, which looks so much better at night. I'll insert some footage. But, by the way, if you guys want to copy any of these setups or use them as a reference, I have an island setup video that covers practically everything that I'm showing you guys here, so go click on that. So yeah, this is a cute little starry area. Anyways, let's go down here. I have a cute little panda here because I'm about to bring you guys into my zen area. Yeah, so you go down here and first I have this section with four of these bath thingies and then a traditional tea set and yeah, I just sit here and look cute. <laughs> and then I have a cute little bamboo forest here. Oh, boo -doo -boo -doo. Then you would come down here and I have this little cute set. The biggest flaw with this little 
center area of my Zen deck is that I can't sit on the bench. And it's because it just looks so awkward if I make space to sit on the bench. Like, look, like now if I sit down on my bench, I can barely reach my T. How am I supposed to reach my T with my tiny, short, little Animal Crossing arm? This is my little bird. He just stays in a cage. I don't even feed him. He doesn't even get water. I honestly don't even know how this little guy is alive, to be honest. Let's keep on walking. And I have this Imperial dining area. So I guess it's kind of like dim sum or just Chinese food in general. I remember this is one of my first favorite items in the game because it moves. There's a lazy... A lazy Sally that moves. What's it called? A lazy Sally? I forgot what it's called. This food has been sitting out here for days and it still it still looks fresh, guys. Look at it. That Xiaolongbao is steaming. We walk down here and then I have this little spa area. I have like futons here where you can sit and relax. Anyways, you come down here and there's a lot of tatami beds for you to sit down and stare at the sky next to the ocean. This is such a vibe. I hope I can do this in real life one day, but for now, I'll do it in Animal Crossing. And hey, look, you can see my invisible underwear. Woo! I'm hard chilling. Oh, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys liked my island tour video. My clothing line is actually coming out in a few weeks. I've been working on it since January, so it's been a seven month process. I'm probably gonna upload a video of the whole process of how I created Evie, which is the name of my clothing line. It's based off of my cats. You can follow my Instagram, you can follow my Twitter. I stream on twitch.tv slash iGumdrop. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys later. Please take care of your mental health. Make sure to drink water. Make sure to take care of yourself. Make sure to tell your friends and family that you love them. Make sure to... Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.